In this tutorial, I will explain and demonstrate how the TIX coordinates in the TIX package work. Let's start off by explaining the basics of the TIX coordinate system. By default, the Cartesian coordinate system is used, where each axis is measured in centimeters. The units can be locally changed, though, by inserting its abbreviation to the right of the value. Now let's focus on how points are used in a single TIX picture environment. A TIX picture environment is defined as the content within a begin TIX picture and end TIX picture command. Once something is drawn, each point within it can be referenced again. However, this is only true for a single TIX picture. Here I will demonstrate this by drawing a line from point 00, 0 to point 40, and then another line from point 00, 0 to point 44. In this example, the point 00, 0 exists as the leftmost point and 40 as the rightmost point of the first line. When I drew the second line, I told LaTeX to begin at the left end of the first line and draw another line 4 centimeters above the right end of the first line. Because of the top margin, the entire drawing was shifted downward. Even though the drawing was shifted, the points that make up the drawing are still the same. This point is still 00, zero and this point is still 40. It is important to note that points and ticks are used as markers, and it is the displacement from these markers that creates the drawing. For example, we can draw the same two lines by using any starting point. Let's recreate the image by beginning at point 123 instead of 00. draw a horizontal line 4 centimeters long from this point, I need to use either a right end point of 104.23 or a left end point of 96.23. For consistency, I will use the point 104.23. In the original drawing, the second line began at the left end point of the first line and ended 4 centimeters above the right end point of the first line. Thus, I will draw this new second line from point 123 to point 104.27. The results are the same as before because the displacement from each point is the same. The concept of displacement and relativity also applies to negative points in the Cartesian coordinate system. Let's recreate the first two lines that we drew, except this time we will change the 40 to negative 40. The result is the same as before. However, for the second line, we will need to begin at negative 40, as now this point is negative 40 and this point is 00. Since this point is 00, we will have to end our second line at point 04 to make it 4 centimeters above the right end point of the first line. I can prove the location of these points by drawing a dot at their location. Here I will draw a black dot at point 00, zero and then I will draw a black dot from point negative 40. First, let's do the point 00. zero. We can see that point 00, zero is indeed located at the right end point of the first line. Now we will draw a point at negative 40. We see that this point is indeed negative 40. Now we will explore what happens when you use multiple TIX picture environments in a single document. For this demonstration, I will use the first two lines that we began with. These two lines share the point 00. zero. I will move the second line to its own text picture environment so we can see what happens. I'm also going to remove the indent on the first drawing. By default, LaTeX will put text pictures on top of each other. And if you have an empty line of space in the code between the text pictures, then LaTeX will indent the second drawing. We can see that by drawing these lines in separate text picture environments that they no longer share the same point 00. 
Each picture now has its own zero, zero point, and without any indents, they are vertically aligned. You can think of this as moving an imaginary cursor. We drew the first picture, and LaTeX essentially hit the Enter button to move the cursor vertically downward to begin the next drawing. As you have probably noticed, the leftmost space in each tick's picture is always the point with the least positive x value. This wraps up the video, and hopefully you have found it useful. Thanks for watching, and feel free to comment any questions you may have.